On this day, St. Ilaria, daughter of Emperor Zeno, departed. Emperor Zeno was an Orthodox believer. He had only two daughters, Ilaria and her sister Theopesta. Their father brought them up and taught them the fundamentals of the Orthodox faith. Ilaria, since her young age, loved to live a solitary life and she thought about the monastic life. When she was 18 years old, she left the court of her father and traveled to Egypt disguised in men's clothing. She went to the wilderness of St. Macarius, where she met a holy man by the name of Amba Bemwa. She told him about her desire to become a monk, and she was ordained a monk under the name of Valeria. Three years later, Amba Bemwa found out that she was Valeria, the daughter of Emperor Zeno. He kept her secret and placed her in a cave and visited her from time to time. She stayed there for 15 years. When she did not grow a beard, the monks thought that she was a eunuch and they called her Elaria the eunuch. Meanwhile, her sister Theopesta became possessed with an unclean spirit. The emperor sent her with one of the noblemen in the empire and a letter with the nobleman to the elders of the wilderness telling them about his pain and grief. The elders read the emperor's letter. They prayed for her for many days, but she was not healed. At the end, the fathers decided that St. Elaria the eunuch should take her and pray for her healing. St. Elaria refused, but the elders obliged her to take her. St. Elaria knew that she was her sister, but her sister did not recognize her. St. Elaria embraced and kissed her sister often, then left to weep outside. A few days later, Theopesta, her sister, was healed from her illness, and St. Elaria took her to the elders and said to them, Through your prayers, God has granted her healing. The elders sent Theopesta back to her father in peace. Emperor Zeno sent to the elders asking them to send Elaria, who healed his daughter, in order to receive his blessings. After a great effort, St. Elaria went to the emperor. The emperor asked him, how did you, the holy man, embrace and kiss the princess? Then Elaria asked them to bring the Bible and to pledge to him not to prevent him from going back to the wilderness after answering their inquiry. They brought the Bible and pledged to him as he wished. Then he made himself known to them, saying, I am your daughter, Elaria. Her parents wept with a loud voice, and all the people in the palace were in confusion. She remained three months, then she returned. St. Hilaria stayed five years after her return to the wilderness, then departed in peace. No one knew that she was a woman until after her death. Her prayers be with us. Amen.